G'day everyone, welcome to another Sunday with Ken. So this week, as you would have already guessed it, it's Music Week. And I was a little surprised when I hopped onto my iTunes account and looked at my top song because knowing me the way I know me, I thought it was probably going to be some real jamming song that me and my friends just replay, 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 replay. Actually it wasn't. I think like the first top three songs were all from a 90s album. Let's start looking at them. So the first one is She's So High, Tal Bachman. To me this song like really reminds me some little nerdy guy trying to get the girl but can't get the girl because you know she's too high maintenance or she's so high. The next one down is Lullaby by Sean Mullins. I'm pretty sure everyone has heard of this song at least once. It basically is one of the first songs that really talk about body image and that kind of stuff. I think it was really compelling to see such a like a really good song come out of the 90s because you had the 80s going in and body image was very important in the 80s and then until like let's just do do old things and let's get back down to basics and let's you know bring back all the old stuff let's try and make ugly the cool thing um the lyrics are sometimes a little bit weird it addresses a lot of things you know religion being one of them it also addresses bullying because of the way it looks and also you know when bad things happen the recourse after all of that so that's a really cool song and that's why i like it the next one on my list is you've got to have one of those weird songs like clyde most of my top played list is all musical songs or soundtracks from movies. The Twilight movie, the soundtrack to Brokeback Mountain. So the next one along is Adiamas. It's a really cool um, soundtrack. I was really like into this song when I saw a children's choir singing this and it was kind of really creepy but like really perfect at the same time. So I listened to the original by Carl Jenkins. The next one on there is by Ostoville. They released a, a free album quite a few years ago. Go. I listened to their first song which was crazy for this girl and had to download that. I downloaded the rest of the album with it and a song that I didn't really think I did like was My Lovely. It's a really cool song and like the reason I like this song so much is because you know would probably have this as a wedding song maybe. You get those songs that the lyrics are really truthful and honest about a situation and this song I think portrays that really really well. Okay let's look to see if we can find some weird ones that are in this list. There's two songs in here Again, from the 90s album. You've got Steal My Sunshine, which was just a single by Len. To me, this is 100% essence of what the 90s was. I mean, even though I was only born in 93, I still lived in the 90s. I still lived through my siblings. Something surprisingly that a lot of you probably won't know about me is I buy all of Chris Crocker's music. And not just because he's gay, because Chris Crocker has an opinion. He has ignorance because he doesn't care what people think about him. And he likes to do music music and he just does music for himself. You get people like One Direction who are, they're a factory, a music factory. They put music out for the girls. They're just filling up consumers. Whereas not a lot of people would download Chris Crocker's music and I think something is shared between a few people becomes more beautiful than when something's shared between a lot of people. Which is also similar to if you think about marriage equality and why a lot of the heterosexual community doesn't want gay people to get married because they feel that if it's not shared with other people then it'll be more like sacred to them. But my favourite band of all time will and probably always will be the Hansons. It was the very first CD or tape that I ever got bought. Those songs still, they still sing to me today. All right, that's it for me. Don't forget to tune in with Rob on Monday. And it would be nice if I could say tune in with such and such on Sunday. But unfortunately, you guys are getting a bit slack. We need those edition tapes ASAP. If you're not really a girl and you really want to be a part of GBC, send it to us anyway. You know, we need something or some type of interest from you. Wear a wig. Drag queens do it. And they don't do a half-assed job. Until next week. See ya.